this video, we are going to find the exact value of inverse cotangent. Here we have y is equal to inverse cotangent of negative root 3. And we want to find the exact value of inverse cotangent. So the first thing we want to do is we want to recognize the domain of inverse cotangent. The domain of inverse cotangent x is from negative infinity to positive infinity. And sure enough, we look at our input value, which is negative root 3, and we see that it falls within the domain. So we can continue. So the next thing we want to do is we want to take the cotangent of both sides. So that's going to say cotangent of y is equal to negative root 3. Now we want to ask ourselves, where on the unit circle does cotangent of y equal negative root 3? Well, on the unit circle, we have coordinates a comma b, and cotangent y will take the form a over b. And notice that we have a negative sign, so this only occurs when we have negative root 3 over 2, 1 half, or positive root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. And that's given coordinates a, b. So on the unit circle, we get cotangent of y is equal to negative root 3 in only two locations. And that's the second quadrant or the fourth quadrant. So if I draw my unit circle, in the second quadrant, we have 5 pi over 6, and our coordinates are negative root 3 over 2, 1 half. And in the fourth quadrant, we have 11 pi over 6 with coordinates root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. And that's what we want, because if we take a divided by b, negative root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half will give us negative root 3. Similarly, if we take root 3 over 2 and divide it by negative 1 half, we get negative root 3. And that's what we want. We're asking ourselves, where on the unit circle does cotangent of y equal negative root 3? Now, we can't just choose any value for y. We have to consider the range of inverse cotangent. So the range... of inverse cotangent x is from 0 to pi. Note that it is possible to define inverse cotangent using a different range. However, in this video, we will use the range from 0 to pi. Also note that we have parentheses here, so we're not actually including the 0 or including the pi, but we can have values that come very, very close to them. So observing the range from 0 to pi, we have 0 here and we have pi here. So this tells us that we can only use the upper region of the unit circle, right? So what this means is that we can completely eliminate 11 pi over 6. So that means that our only value is 5 pi over 6. So we say that cotangent of 5 pi over 6 is equal to negative root 3, which means that 5 pi over 6 is equal to 
cotangent inverse of negative root 3. And we're looking for our y value. So we say that our y is equal to 5 pi over 6. Okay? And that is how you find the exact value of inverse cotangent. Thank you for watching, and always remember that you are awesome.